Hello and welcome to Mina's Bookshelf. Um, today we're going to take a look at a, um, an astrological planner and diary. Um, we have an incredible amount of uh, uh, tools like oracle decks and um, tarot decks that include in the, in the interpretation of the archetypes the astrological uh, angle. They look at the energies that move the events and personality traits in the universe uh, through the lens of uh, astrology. Myself, I have quite a few. Um, I'm thinking about immunology oracle cards, the Queen of the Moon oracle, uh, Karma cards by Monty Farber, one of my favorite uh, astrology uh, reading cards, and even a, a recent um, release, the Zodiac Tarot by uh, Cecilia Lattari and Anna Chavez. These are the uh, the tools that I I have been using uh, for the past few months. My interest in astrology goes way back. I'm not a pro by all means, but my interest brought me to um, go deeper and further in my studies, in my readings. Now, there's also a different way um, to do this, and it's the a more interactive uh, way, and is the way of uh, using a planner and a diary. Uh, to look at the um, astrological picture month to month, year to year. So I've been asked to review uh, this um, complete astrological planner and diary for the year 2023. This one was written by a team, a family actually, of astrologers, Tatiana Borch, Alexander Weiner, and Eugeny Vorobiev. So... From the back of the book of the planner, embrace your future with the wisdom of astrology and discover what the future holds for you in 2023. Specially written by esteemed astrologist Tatiana Borsch, this beautiful daily astrology planner and diary draws on her extensive track record of successful astrological predictions, including foreseeing the 2020 crisis in an article for a Sway magazine to provide you with a wealth of handy insights, astrological tips, and the profound wisdom of the cosmos. All brought together so that you can draw on the power of the stars to empower yourself with a new wave of spirituality and holistic self-care. Book details, all important astrological data in one place, moon faces, void of course, planetary transits, aspects, and retrogrades. retrogrades. Boasts a complete lunar month calendar with detailed descriptions of each lunar day. Easy to use guides for planetary and moon transits and aspects to help you understand cosmic influence for your horoscope. Perfect is a unique and ingenious gift idea for your loved ones. This gorgeous astrological planner and diary is an illuminating tool for astrology fans to make the most of 2023 and gain enlightening insights into the coming year of the water rabbit. Now, the uh, Tatiana... Um, Borsch and her son have been so kind and gracious to send me not only the complete astrological planner diary for 2023, but uh, also um, my choice of the one um, zodiac sign dedicated astrological planner and diary. As I'm a sun sign Sagittarius, so I picked this one and I took a look at uh, both of them. And here are my thoughts. Now, some technical specification regarding the book. It comes in this beautiful, very um, elegant, uh, soft um, touch, bruise petal finished, um, soft cover. Uh, the book is published by the Astra Heart, and I think this is their publishing company. Um, it was um, uh, released at the end of December, and I think you can uh, order it right now, both on the Amazon and through other book retailers, like uh, Books and Media, for, uh, for example. Uh, there's a conspicuous number of pages, more than 370, and 
it might look like a textbook, which in the introduction, um, the uh, the author absolutely she says this is not a textbook, uh, but the um, the the amount and depth of information is so robust and still delivered with a language that is so approachable and easy to understand, even for somebody who's approaching uh, this subject matter for the first time, that that it feels absolutely as a tool that anybody at any level can use. Uh, let's take a look inside. And I was saying before, it's an interactive tool. The reason why is that it's uh, structured not only as a, um, a sort of textbook, a guide that gives you a lot of important, meaty information about the uh, foundations of astrology, but it's also an interactive planner and diary where you can keep track of the uh, influence of the astrological movements uh, into your daily life through um, numerous uh, charts and, uh, and monthly and uh, weekly goal pages. All right, let's take a look, making sure it's in shot. All right. So you will find in the book planetary lunar transits and aspects, avoid, of course, moon and lunar phases, planets in retrograde, the lunar calendar and guide, and also a, a very detailed um, general prediction for the year 2023. There is a table of content. And um, a couple of paragraphs that I would like to highlight for each of uh, the chapters. The first one, how to use this book. Uh, Complete Astrological Planner and Diary 2023 is an effective tool to manage your time, set goals, and make plans while using the influence of the planets and cosmos to get the most out of your self-care. This book provides you with information on the position of the planets, phases of the moon and lunar days, aspects of the planets and moon, as well as periods when the planets and moon are in retrograde throughout 2023. More and more frequently um, in recent weeks, I've been finding myself integrating my tarot readings, my general energy, my daily messages, and my personal, very personal uh, readings. I've been finding myself integrating these with the... Um, with the highlights of the astrological shifts. So I've been um, making these readings from the perspective of the lunar phases, uh, whether we're going into a new moon, a, um, a full moon in a specific sign. So for me, this guide just went uh, into uh, even further and deeper details that helped me understand the mechanism of how these uh, planetary and moon and lunar shifts can have an influence on our daily life. This book is much more than an astrological planner and diary, but also a guide on how to interpret the transiting aspects. Here, you will find descriptions of the planetary and lunar, lunar, lunary aspects, as well as the positions of the planets and zodiac signs and houses and lunar days, and how you can apply these factors to your own personal horoscope. Then, um, Tatiana. Uh, went on and she uh, keeps writing. We did not intend to write a textbook on astrology here, although it could easily function uh, function as a good starting um, to from a beginner to medium level kind of manual to get acquainted with this uh, this art. Um, as that is a task far too large for a single book, but we did attempt to create a convenient tool for you to understand the cosmic waves in life, your life, as you fully leverage the energy of the universe. This book is intended for beginning astrologers and those who simply love astrology and mystical and spiritual practices. And anyone who uses astrological concepts, it will allow you to take your first steps in learning astrology about yourself and provide you with an opportunity to use astrology to plan your time. You will be able to record your plans, dreams, and manifestations for the new moon and describe your experience on the days of the full moon. On special pages, we have highlighted what we believe are the five main spheres of life and have left a space for your own personal spheres. No one knows your life like you do. So the book goes on and it does a very good job at providing some important basic information in the form of a glossary. 
So it explains what the signs are, what the planets are, what we mean by terms like dignity, exaltation, detriment, fall, and then aspects and lunar phases. So nothing is left uh, out of this um, preliminary introduction. And although it's quite robust in the sense that it goes deep and it gives you detailed information, as I said before, it's really approachable, really easy to digest, really easy to read and understand. Uh, there's no um, confusing or um, intimidating language that it might, might make it difficult for you to uh, dip your toes in, uh, in the astrology. How to fill in your personal astrology chart. You can explain how you can do that. Um, it teaches you how to go and uh, through the monthly planetary aspects and how to integrate them in your personal weekly and monthly goal and uh, planning. Uh, the next important thing that I would like to uh, highlight is the fact that you can uh, create your personal chart, uh, your natal chart. Um, not everybody has uh, this kind of uh, information, but if you want, you can find online a complete um uh, natal chart if you have the information about the specific time and place of your date of birth. Um, there's more than one, so if you make mistakes, you can always work on a few more blank ones. Then we go into the description of the zodiac signs, and this is one of my favorite parts. For example, for the sign of Aries, it gives you a description uh, of the sign, it's masculine fire cardinal, and it will explain also at some point in the in the chapters what does it mean to be a masculine, a fire, a cardinal, rather than a um, uh, another kind of uh, uh, zodiac sign. Rulers, Mars and Pluto retrograde, as exaltation, sun, temperament, choleric, impulsive, aggressive, positive traits, negative traits, weaknesses in the body, association with metal, minerals, numbers, day of the week, and color, and then a, a portrait of the astrological portrait of the sign. For example, um, anyone born under the sign believes in self-affirmation, I am. He takes initiative and is a sure leader and moves forward and doesn't worry about the consequences, etc., etc. And there will be also a paragraph that will explain how to recognize an Aries by its appearance, the charting Aries fate, and it will do that for every um, every zodiac sign. Next important part of the book that I would like to um, bring to your attention is I put some post its. Um, be your own astrologist. And this is a, a, the chapter in which you will learn how to make uh, predictions uh, for your um, for your uh, daily life following the astrological um, arrangement of the planets in your uh, in your chart now first of all you will learn about astrological houses uh, what are they just as the wheel of the zodiac is divided into 12 signs it is also divided into houses each house has its own feature and tells us about different areas of our lives the houses of the horoscope are counted differently but for someone unfamiliar with astrology it is easiest to calculate them starting from your zodiac sign also known as your sun sign in astrology so if you don't have access to your detailed uh, natal chart which will give you your ascendant uh, in that case the ascendant will be your first house and then you will proceed in counterclockwise uh, to understand what the other where the other houses are but let's say if you're a sun sign in Sagittarius that will be your first house and then you will calculate your second house in Capricorn third house in Aquarius fourth house Pisces and so forth going counterclockwise each of the houses rules an aspect of your life so Knowing which um, in which zodiac sign is each of the uh, of the houses will give you an idea of what the main energy, the inc the astrological inclination for each of these spheres of your life is. Um, 
the author will go through uh, the each of the houses, explaining what they are, what the positive and negative aspects are. For example, first house. This house is who you are, your appearance, the impression you give off to those around you, your talents, and the way you carry yourself. Um, negative aspects of the first house, you might be too focused on yourself and have a tendency to ignore the opinion of those around you. And we, we go through every single house and then we, we get to the astrological transit. Um, so the author explains what the transits are. Transits are a popular and effective way to predict the future and gain a better understanding of what is happening to a person at any given point in time. They help shed light on the external circumstances we can expect to face, and transits can also tell us when something will occur. Uh, so we'll get acquainted with terms like a favorable transit, unfavorable transit, Next important chapter is the lunar energy and the zodiac. It's important to know in uh, uh, which zodiac sign your moon was at the moment of your birth. So the moon usually spends about two to three days in a sign. And during that time, it takes on the energy of that sign in a kind of connector that ties all of the planetary influences together. With this information, you can predict what kind of energies you can expect to face. So knowing in what the zodiac sign the moon was at the moment of your birth will give important information about your personality traits in a specific area of your life. Um, following the movement and the phases of the moon, uh, from day to day will give you um, a, um, an insight on how the lunar phases are going to influence your daily life. So if we have the moon in Aries, the energy in this sign is one of the fastest and most energetic area of the zodiac. In a positive aspect, that means boldness, quick decision making, desire and ability to lead. In a negative aspect, it means hasty decisions and emergency situations. So it goes on uh, like this to describe what it means to, to have a, the moon transit in any of these signs. For example, we have a new moon in uh, Aquarius coming up in a few days. So Aquarius energy is swift and lively. In positive aspects, this is a great time for any contact with friends, traveling, or making new contacts and connections. It is a good time for anything creative too. You may come up with new original ideas and out-of-the-box plans for the future. In negative aspects, your projects will be unrealistic, adventurous, and those around you will be unreliable. There may be a necessary intrigue which is bad for work and may distract you from what needs to be done. And because it's on a new moon, it will be more after the release of the past full moon in Capricorn, will be, be um, invited to um, plan for the future more than acting. Then we have a chapter about the moon cycles and the lunar days. Um, it goes in depth explaining what are the phases of the moon, what we intend by new moon, waxing, crescent, first quarter, and so on. Um, so we have an entire paragraph about new moon. We cannot see the new moon as it is hidden. This is what is coming up in Aquarius in a few days. People might complain about feeling weak, mental imbalance, and fatigue. During this time, we want to avoid taking on too much um, and avoid overdoing things. Generally, people are not very responsive and react poorly to requests, which is why it is best to look out for yourself while not keeping your plate too full. So it's more a time for planning and assessing more than acting. Um, and then it will tell you some, you know, it, interesting things that are favorable to happen or that are advised to happen during these lunar phases and what you, sh you should try to stay away from. For example, the new moon is a bad time for advertising. Um, it's also uh, a, not an ideal time for surgery. It is also difficult to get an accurate diagnosis during the new moon. The new moon is also a bad time for dates, uh, encounters, intimate encounters, romantic encounters, which might be, be dissatisfied and leave you feeling disappointed. So this kind of uh, advice is uh, guidance on what is favorable to do and what is not is uh, available for every lunar phase.
And then it goes into the characteristics of each of the lunar days. From day one, the first lunar day is extremely important for the rest of the lunar month. This is a much needed day to carefully plan your activities and lay the groundwork for the rest of the lunar month. Remember that the first lunar day is not a a good day for major activities, but rather for sitting down and planning things. So it goes through every day of the lunar calendar up to day 30. Uh, what we have next is astrology cheat sheet. And this is where we get into the sign, understanding what is the elemental association, the description of the most important personality traits, uh, the uh, distinction between the modes, uh, what is a cardinal sign, what is a fixed sign, what is a mutable sign, and the description based on this kind of uh, categorization. For example, Aries, Capricorn, Libra, and Cancer are cardinal signs. What does that mean? They're action-driven, they're dynamic, they have great initiative and great force. Then we have the fixed sign, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. They're resistant to change, will power and flexibility. And then we have the mutable signs, Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, and Pisces. What does that entail? They're adaptable, they're flexible, and they're highly resourceful. And then they will give you the also the main characteristics of the sign if you separate them by uh, element. The fire sign, the Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius description, they're assertive, they're driven, they have a lot of willpower. The earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, they're practical, they're very cautious, they're material, and so on and so forth. Very interesting, very fascinating, and so easy, uh, so easy to read and absorb. I mean, the thing that I like about this guidebook a planner diary is that it's very streamlined um, streamlined sorry uh, one might say that maybe it looks a little too minimalist um, especially for those people who are um, very visual and they need graphic organizers they like to see uh, colors and images to help them memorize in uh, information this is not that kind of um of diary is quite simple, is understated almost inside the way it looks, the way it's formatted. Um, but I find it to be even easier. It's not distract, nothing is distracting in the way it is visually presented. There is also a timetable for time zone references. Very interesting, great tool when you start to get into some more uh, detailed study. Then we have a, a chapter devoted to the forecasts for the 2023 and the transitions we're going through. Uh, next, we go into each month and the monthly aspects for each of the days in each of the month. And this is the chart that gives you all the information. Um, the planetary movements, the lunar phases, the shifts, if we're going retrograde, direct. And this is what you, if you um, ha, are going to seriously embark on this journey of knowing and learning astrology, this is, will be, uh, and using it in practical ways to understand how your month, your weeks, your days are going to go. This is a very important tool to receive. It will be important memorize, to memorize also the symbols for each of the signs, the um, uh, the planets, the retrograde, retrograde, direct, the aspects like trine, um, uh, square, and so on and so forth. There's a lunar calendar for the uh, for January, which will tell you exactly in which lunar day you are on each of the day of the calendar. And so it goes on for every month of the year. This to the very end. Within the, uh, each of these months, you have a monthly transit chart that you will be able to uh, refer to and fill out with your own personal information. There is a lunar calendar uh, that I showed you before. For, and then there will be there will be weekly goal planning uh, places for week one, week two, week three, and week four, where you will be able to uh, to write your intention goals in business, in money, in love, and family, and health, and monthly goals 
consciousness and spirit so it's pretty cool i have to say um my only complaint and it's something very subjective and personal i have very poor sight and even with my glasses on sometimes i have a hard time reading things that are written in very small font and this unfortunately happens when we go in this part of the diary of the planner where uh for me, it's really difficult to, to read these informations here about the uh, planetary uh, movements, the zodiac signs, and the lunar phases. Um, I have to use, I'll be honest with you, I have to use a magnifying lens. Sometimes I will use the uh, the lens of my uh, cell phone uh, to enlarge and zoom in to be able to absolutely be able to interpret this little um, signs. Now, the very nice little detail, there's uh, a very interesting quote on each of these pages. Art is not a thing, it is a way by Halbert Hart, but by any uh, by the way, or um, through use, see the same world, we see it through different eyes, Virginia Woolf. I, I always like quotes, I always find them inspiring. So this is the um, the diary and planner, uh, planner for the year 2023. Now for the, uh, the, the one dedicated to specific zodiac signs, it's a it's exactly the same except for the first part where the book, uh, the guidebook here, uh, the diary, the planner focuses on one specific sign. So there won't be the same amount of page, the uh, general introduction um, for all signs will not be there, but everything else is about the same. The only thing that I noticed about this um the uh, version dedicated to specific Sagittarius uh, sign, and it's something really uh, just technical, uh, is that there, there's a little bit of a misalignment maybe with the printer um, that cut the pages because it looks like the margin on the left side is very reduced compared to the right side. And in some, uh, in a few pages, it, it even cuts through uh, the word themselves on the left side. That's my only um, kind of uh, negative observation about this. Um, and I don't know if it's just a problem with this copy or it's something that uh, it will be um, in every other um, zodiac sign, specific zodiac sign copy. So this was my review of me, of the My Complete Astrological Planner and Diary 2023 by Tatiana Borsch and Complete Astrological Planner Diary dedicated to uh, specific signs. I will put a link in the description of the video with the, uh, with, a, for, with the Amazon link if you are interested in taking a look and maybe purchasing a copy if what you saw um, uh, spiked your interest. And thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, many blessings.